Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Chef Girl RD. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this strawberry shortcake and we're going to be making it in the Ninja Foodie. I'm going to be making a strawberry shortcake with an angel food cake. Now traditionally strawberry shortcakes made with biscuits, but I'm going to switch it up a little bit and I'm going to make an angel food cake and it's going to taste just as good. You're going to love it. I'm going to use a springform pan and then you're going to need a reversible rack. You're going to use that in the lower position. However, today I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use, um, this is just my rack for hard boiled eggs. And the reason I'm going to use this rack instead of my reversible rack is this has a tendency to slide around a little bit. Whereas this one, you can set it right down. It's a perfect fit. And then when you lift the handles, you can just hold it tight against the pan and it doesn't budge, see? Which is cool, I like that. So we're gonna, I'm gonna use this one today. And it's just a little lower than this one is, but it's not gonna make much of a difference. But either way, if you don't have uh, one of these and you wanna use a reversible rack, then no big deal, go ahead and use it. So moving right into our ingredients, we're gonna be using cake flour, egg whites, sugar, almond extract, vanilla extract. I've got a little bit of table salt there and some cream of tartar. You're also gonna need a pint of strawberries. So I already went ahead and prepped my strawberries for this cake. I washed them off. I chopped them up and put some in a bowl. That's what this is here. And I added a tablespoon of confectioner sugar. I added a tablespoon of regular sugar and a tablespoon of water. And then I just mixed it all up. And that's how I got that little bit of sauce in there or glaze, if you wanna call it that. And then I set this in the fridge. Now, if you want, you can just do the strawberries chopped up with, with no sauce. I know it's a, a bit of sugar in there. So if you wanna keep it a little cleaner, then just the strawberries is fine. And then over here, I took a few strawberries and I sliced them. And I just kind of laid out on a plate. I do this with a lot of desserts when I make dessert. I like to lay out what the top of the cake is gonna look like or pie, depending on what I'm making and then just set it aside so that I know what I'm gonna be doing later on when I get to that point. All right, so we're gonna start by sifting our cake flour and sugar together. So I have one cup of cake flour and I have three quarter cup of sugar, but I'm only gonna use two tablespoons of this, it's divided. So I'm just gonna add my one cup of cake flour to my sifter. Don't forget your bowl and two tablespoons of sugar. And we'll just sip that into the bowl. All right, so that's all set. I'm just gonna set that aside. Then in a large mixing bowl, you're gonna add your egg whites. Now you wanna use one and a half cup of egg whites. That's about a dozen eggs minus the yolks. That's what you'll end up using. So I cheated. I'm only using one and a quarter cup because I bought the um, store-bought cotton of egg whites and it tends to be a little, just a here thinner. So I just went a little less than what is recommended. I'll pour that in. Then we're gonna add one and a half teaspoon of cream of tartar. One quarter teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of almond extract. And a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm gonna take my electric mixer and we're gonna mix that until it gets thick. <laughs> that about two minutes till you get some soft peaks like that now we're gonna add our remaining sugar now remember this was three quarter cup of sugar but minus the two tablespoons that we used to add to our flour so we'll add that in 
and we're going to continue to mix until we get some firmer peaks. Alright, so that's good. So that was another two to three minutes of mixing. You just want to continue until you get some thick, firm peaks that stand up on their own. Something like that. And now we'll add our flour mixture and we're going to flip that in. The rest. So a good few flips until you don't see clumps of the flour anymore. This looks good. All right, so now we'll take our mixture and pour it into our spring form pan. We'll level that out. I'm gonna actually grab a spoon for this part. All right, a little easier. Something like that. I'm gonna put this on my rack. Now this is a seven inch spring form pan. So if you have a nine inch, then you'll have enough to make in that size as well. Cause I have a little left over. So just pick it up and I'm gonna put it inside the foodie. Just like that. Shut the lid. We're gonna bake this on the bake option. We're gonna go 355 for our temp and we're going to do 30 minutes and before I hit start we're going to let that cook for about 15 minutes and that's when it will rise then we're going to cover it with foil for the remaining 15 minutes for the duration of the cooking time all right we're at 15 minutes I'm going to open it up oh that looks beautiful look at that so now I'm going to take it out really quick and I'm going to put foil on it and put it right back in. All right, that's all set. I'm just going to close the lid and let that keep cooking. And the reason I did that is because I don't want the top to brown too much and that's going to help to stop that. So the foil is not necessary, but it's recommended. All right. Open that up. Now I'm just gonna let that air out for a minute or two and then we'll take it out and I'm gonna set it on the counter. Before All right guys, just took it out. It's still really hot, but I will take off the foil just to show you what we got. There it is. Isn't that beautiful? So we're going to let this cool for 30 minutes, but I'm going to take another parchment round and I'm going to put it on top and I'm going to put a plate on top. Come on. All right, really quick. There we go. And I'm going to flip this because I want to cool it upside down. So I'm just going to slide it onto my pot holder here or get my hand underneath and I'm just going to flip because I want a nice flat top. So I'm just going to let it cool off upside down with the parchment paper underneath. And after it cools, we'll open it up and take a look. All right, 30 minutes is up. Let's release this. And let's see what we got. 
Here we go. That looks really good. I just got a little bit of water. I'm just gonna grab a paper towel. All right, all set. All right, so let's peel this back and see what it looks like underneath there. Guys, look. Isn't that beautiful? It smells so good too. Oh, this is gonna be great. So it's definitely still a little warm, so I want it to be cooler than this because I'm going to cut down the middle for my filling. So I'm gonna put my parchment back on, but we can flip it at this point. this off. I'll leave that off too. See it's nice and flat now. So the whipped cream will go on there really nice. All right so I'm gonna let it get completely cooled and we'll go to the next step. All right guys so here's the tricky part. I'm gonna cut this cake in half. That looks good. Not bad. Looks pretty good, right? So there is another way that you can do this if you're not comfortable with cutting it or if you don't want to. When you pour the cake batter into your spring form, you can just go halfway and then you can place a parchment round on top and then continue with the rest of your mixture. And when it cooks, once it's done, you can just find where the paper comes out a little and then you can peel it. But with that, you do get a little wave going on when you do it that way. So it's entirely up to you. I guess it's six and one half dozen in the other, whether you cut it or use the parchment paper. So whatever you're more comfortable doing. I'm just gonna transfer this onto my serving plate. So I just put together my uh, ingredients in a bowl for my whipped cream. And you can use store-bought whipped cream if you want, but it's super easy to make. So I just put ingredients together. I put one cup of uh, heavy cream or heavy whipping cream, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two heaping tablespoons of uh, confectioner sugar. And we're just gonna mix that a couple minutes till it's nice and thick. So now for the fun part, I have my whipped cream, I have my strawberries I just took out of the fridge, ready to go. And we're gonna start. I'm gonna take a spoonful of some whipped cream. I'm gonna spread that. You can use a spatula. I really like using spoons when I do this. For some reason it works better for me. Just something like that. And we're going to take our strawberries. You want to drain some of the juice just because you don't want it too wet. But a little bit is okay. And we're just going to put those on and spread them out. All 
and that should just about do it for that. And before I put the top on, I'm going to put a thin layer of whipped cream on there. If you don't want any more whipped cream, that's, that's totally fine because I'm going to be adding it on the top as well. And that could be a lot for some of you. Or maybe not. All right, that looks good. So I did go very thin, as you can see, just to have a little something. So now I'm going to pick it up. And we're going to flip it onto the cake. Give a little push. And we'll clean that top. Now I'm going to fine tune it with a spatula. So I just spread and leveled that. I'm just going to add, I took some whipped cream and I put it in a pastry bag. And I'm just going to do a couple little, just little guys, nothing crazy. And I'll just do one bigger one in the middle. Just like that. The last step, we'll add our strawberries. You can position these however you want. You can decorate the cake however you want. This is just how I'm doing it. And that's it. This is what we got. So this is my angel food strawberry shortcake made in the ninja foodie. So let's, uh, let's take a cut into that. You know how it goes. Oh, it's so spongy. <laughs> this is so fluffy. There we go. Like I always say, it's always that first part that's hard. I'm gonna get under that parchment paper. Yep. I don't think I cut enough into the middle. Yeah, but that's right. We're still gonna try it. See the inside? Does that look good? All right, so I totally destroyed that first bite, sorry. But this is what it looks like. And it's delicious. So I'm gonna eat this piece right now. Yeah, that's good. It's really good, guys. So that's it. That's how you make strawberry shortcake in the Ninja Foodie. I think you guys are gonna like it if you give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click that like button and be sure to subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Bon appetit, guys.